Hey, it's Walter here from FX Jake, and I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick. This is what you can do here, is you can download any MetaTrader, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Download Meta MetaTrader 4, and do, 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 do. here's one right here. Looks like it's from MetaTrader. Okay, it doesn't matter where you get it from, but I'm getting it direct from MetaTrader here at MetaTrader4.com. Yeah, MetaQuotes. Yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna download it right now. It's asking me if I want to run it. I'll just run it. And um, yes, uh, you know, ask me where I want to put it. Um, I'm just going to call it something else because I'm probably going to delete it. Because <laughs> I've already got it on my desktop, so I really don't want it again. But uh, just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll download it and go through all the steps once again. So now it's downloaded, it's all done. So I'm going to click Finish to exit. I have to fill in this form here uh, and then say that I agree to subscribe to the newsletters. And then it's going to, and then I hit scan here, and you can see that it's only got Interbank FX available as a broker. We're going to change that. I'm going to show you how to do that next. I hit next, it gives me my password and all that, and then I hit finish. Now, here's the, here is the MetaTrader, and it's going to load right here. Incoming mail. And you can see here that it's all loaded and yep, it's all good to go. So there you go, and it's got a little five thousand dollar demo account and all that. Now that's great, but what I want to do is close this down, and I'm going to load in other dot SRV files, and these dot SRV files are going to allow me to actually change the broker. So let me show you where I just need to find the program, which is right here. It's uh, MetaTrader 4 Demo. And I, so I went to Program Files and I went to MetaTrader 4 Demo because that's what I called it when I loaded it, you'll recall. So now here, all I have to do is go to the config folder right here. And you can see here, I've got two SRV files. Both of them are for. Um, Interbank FX, right? IBFX AU and IBFX, okay? So now what I have to do is take that um, config file, hold on, hold on, hold on, skip that. I've got this config file that you have downloaded, hopefully from the forum, and you'll have to unzip it. So you just extract all and, you know, where do you want to put it? Your computer will ask you where do you want to put it, and you get to decide. You know, I want to put it in my documents folder. Okay. So I do. Where do you want to put it? I'm going to put it in my documents folder. That's where I want to extract it. If you have Windows, you will you will be able to extract your folder anywhere you want. Any zip folder, you'll be able to put it anywhere you want. So here's my config folder right here. So I'll get rid of the the zipped one because I want the unzipped one here. And you'll notice that there are several files here, and they're all really small one kilobot files, and they all have a .srv at the end. These are all brokers SRV files. So if I go to the Spot Trader broker, you know, if, if I select this one, I can actually load Spot Trader um, demo account in the same MetaTrader. This is how you do that. You need to select all of these, so you'll go up to the top and I'll hit shift. I'm hitting the shift key as I click here, and if I click down here, whoops, if I click here and I hit shift, then I can click all the way down here and it'll, it'll select all of these. But I actually want to select all of them in the folder. So I'm going to click at the top, 
hit shift and click at the bottom. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to drag them into my config folder, which again, this is in program files in my AMT4 demo. That's what I called my MetaTrader that I just downloaded right now. So here, I'm going to drag all of these over here, all 183 of them, boom, into here. And I'm going to continue and I'm going to click do this for all. So I don't have to give permission for every single .srv file. All right, so that's it. That's done. Now my config folder is empty, so I'll close that out. All my SRV files are here. So I'll just go back to MetaTrader Demo, and I can click on the desktop icon if I want, or I can simply just click on Terminal right here, and that's going to launch my MetaTrader again. And once it, there it goes, so it's connected. And I can double check that over here. It says, uh, yeah, it's connected. That's great. So it's all ready, all good to go. I can see the prices are moving here. That means I'm connected. Now, let's say I want to create a new um, demo account. What I would do is open an account like this. I'll keep all of my information here the same. And I'll hit next. And then what I'm going to do is hit scan. It's going to scan all 182 of these. Boom. This is going to take some time. Once all of the server files have been scanned, and you'll know this when you go down to the bottom, um, you'll see that some of them will have scanned, and and it'll they'll be ranked by how quickly. So, in other words, this one up here, the MB Trading Demo Server, was scanned in 436 milliseconds. That essentially means that it. Um, was able to connect to this server first, and then ACM, and then IBFX, and so on. Uh, you'll also notice that some of them just won't scan at all. So like AL Trade and you know ATC and all these ones down here, they didn't they didn't work. So you can't select any of the red ones because those didn't. It, MetaTrader was not able to connect to those servers, but all of the green ones you can. So you can select any of these, any of these at all. Um, completely up to you which ones you want to use so for instance I might choose Alpari and then hit next and then it'll create an account for me and that's it and then you'll notice here it it will have um, logged into Alpari and so now what I'll have are all of the charts that are available for Alpari so if I go and get a new chart um, it'll be any of any of these charts here will be Alpari charts that are available. And there you go. So that's essentially the, that's essentially the deal. And if I want to go and find another one, if I want to go and find another broker, all I have to do is I go, like say this demo account expires or it doesn't have some charts that I like, I'll just go to um, open an account, keep all my information here, go next. And then I'll pick a different broker. Let's let's say let's say I want F FX Light. Um, I can select FX Light. Now again, I don't want to select any of these brokers down here because I've recently scanned them and they didn't come. They didn't, wasn't able to connect to those. But any of these other ones, I should be able to choose, like um, Teletrade, for example. And there we go. Now now it's connected up to Teletrade. It's going to disconnect down here. And now it's connected up to Teletrade. So that's essentially how it works. It's really simple, and there's no need to ever go around and take another, you know, download another MetaTrader simply because you want another broker's data feed. All you really need is one MetaTrader shell and all of those .srv files that are, of course, in your config folder inside of MetaTrader. I hope this helps and I hope that you found it very useful because it's great. It's a great way to, to be able to hook up to many different brokers through one MetaTrader.